Hello and welcome to the first lecture on the binomial theorem. In this lecture, we'll look at some of the introductory concepts which are required to uh, really understand the binomial theorem and some of the concepts which we will use uh, to look at applications of the binomial theorem. So the first concept we'll be looking at in this chapter is the concept of a factorial of a, of a positive integer. So suppose n is a positive integer and factorial, which is uh, denoted by n exclamation point, is the number of ways in which n distinct objects can be arranged. The, the mathematical definition of n factorial uh, can be written as n factorial equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on till 1. So to give you an example, uh, we have 1 factorial is nothing but 1. We have 2 factorial is nothing but 2 times 1, which is 2. We have 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6, and so on. In general, we have that n factorial is n times n minus 1 factorial. And this is a recursive definition of n factorial. Our convention is to adopt 0 factorial to be equal to 1. And the interpretation for this is there is only one way to choose, one way to arrange 0 objects. So uh, a related concept to n factorial, which generalizes n factorial, is the concept of permutations. So NPR, which is the number of ways of permuting R objects from N objects, is so this is the number of ways of, of uh, selecting and arranging R objects. from n distinct objects and this is defined as npr equals n times n minus 1 times so on till n minus r plus 1 and you can see that NPR can be uh, more succinctly expressed as N factorial by N minus R factorial. Note that NP0 is nothing but 1, and NPN is nothing but N factorial. So this is a generalization of the concept of n factorial. A third related concept is the concept of the number of ways of choosing r objects from n distinct objects. This is denoted by ncr. And the definition of ncr is n factorial by n minus r factorial times r factorial. And this is the same as NPR divided by R factorial. And the interpretation of this result is that it is the number of ways of uh, selecting and arranging R objects from N distinct objects, which is NPR. And you divide by the total R factorial possible ways of ordering these objects. And so you just look at the number of ways of selecting are objects from n distinct objects. And so that gives you NCR. To look at an example, we have 4P2, which is the number of ways of 
arranging, selecting and arranging two objects from four distinct objects, which is four times three, which is 12. And you can also arrive at this number from the definition of NPR, which is four factorial by two factorial. An example for NCR is the case when n is 2 and r is 2. So we have 4c2 is 4 times 3 by 2 times 1, which is 6. And this can also be obtained as 4 factorial by 4 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So there are several uh, properties of both NPR and NCR uh, which can be derived. But for the binomial theorem, we are predominantly interested in the properties of NCR, as we shall see in the next chapter. And so we'll list a few properties of NCR. So the first thing to note is NC0 is 1. So this is the number of ways of choosing 0 objects from n distinct objects. And there's only one way to choose zero objects from n distinct objects. You can also arrive at this result from the definition of NCR, which is n factorial by n minus 0 factorial times 0 factorial, which is n factorial by n factorial times 1, since 0 factorial is defined to be 1. A second property is NC1 is n, which again from the definition of NCR can be derived as n factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial. And this is nothing but n factorial. This is nothing but n times n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial times 1. And this gives us n. Similarly, you can derive that NC2 is n times n minus 1 divided by 2 from the definition of NCR. And in general, you can show that NCR is nothing but NC n minus r. So and this can be shown again from the definition of NCR. So for instance, NCR is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. And nc n minus r is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus n minus r whole factorial times n minus r factorial. And this can be simplified to be n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. So from the definition of ncr, you can show that these two uh, give you the same result. A combinatorial interpretation of this result can also be uh, given. And that is, this is nothing but the number of ways of selecting R objects from N distinct objects, whereas this right hand side is nothing but the number of ways of selecting n minus r objects from n distinct objects. So a selection of r objects from n distinct objects naturally gives you a selection of n minus r objects which were not selected in this selection, but that can be considered to be a a bijective selection of n minus r objects from n distinct objects, and that gives you the equality between these two expressions. Another a result based on NCR is given as follows. NCR plus NCR minus 1 equals n plus 1 CR. So once again, you can derive this result from the definition of NCR, but uh, I, I can give you a simple combinatorial interpretation of this result. So suppose you have 
n plus 1 objects and you want to select r objects from n plus 1 distinct objects. And suppose there is an object A in the set of n plus 1 objects which you want to, uh, which you're looking at. So you can either pick A, uh, in which case you have to pick r minus 1 objects from the remaining n objects, and that is given by this expression. Or you don't pick A, in which case you have to pick n objects, from, uh, r objects from the remaining n objects, which is given by this expression. So these two, uh, these two events are mutually exclusive. And so the sum of these two events gives you the total number of ways of picking r objects from n plus 1 given objects. And that is n plus 1 c r. So we will see that a combinatorial interpretation is sometimes useful and can give you results, uh, give you uh, your result uh, more easily than using the definition in our later lectures. A final result we'll be looking at is ncr times r equals n times n minus 1 cr minus 1. So once again, you can derive this result from the definition of ncr, but there is also an interesting combinatorial interpretation of this result as follows. So you can rewrite this, this identity in the form ncr equals n times n minus 1 cr minus 1 divided by r. The left hand side is the number of ways of choosing r objects from n distinct objects. So we want to show that the right hand side is also representing the same thing. So once again, uh, you first choose one object which can be done in n ways. And then you choose r minus 1 objects from the remaining n minus 1 objects, which can be done in n minus 1 choose r minus 1 ways. However, when you put these r objects together, there are r possible ways in which you can put them together, since the first object you chose can be interspersed between the remaining r minus 1 objects you chose uh, in the n minus 1 choose r minus 1 ways in a total of r different ways. And so you have to divide by r to get rid of the different combinations which give you the same selection of r objects. And therefore, you'll have that ncr equals n times n minus 1 choose r minus 1 divided by r which gives you the original result. So there are several more identities uh, which you can derive based on the definition of NCR. But in this lecture, these are all the definitions we'll be looking at. Also, if you're not yet familiar with the definition of NCR and NPR, I refer you to the lectures on permutations and combinations in this series uh, to get more familiar with those definitions. In the next lecture, uh, we will be looking at the binomial theorem and uh, applications of the binomial theorem. So that's it for this lecture. We thank you for